Hello, in this demo I want to show you how GraphQL type chain can improve the collaboration between you and your content creators and how you can more easily use your GraphQL inside your editor. I scaffolded the Sanity homepage starter here and both the app and Sanity Studio are already running locally. Before diving into the feature itself, I want to show you how you currently use and explore GraphQL inside Gatsby and then later show how GraphQL type chain can improve a whole lot of things here. So as I said, I have the homepage starter here and if we go to the code, this is the index page and as you expect, a page query here is defined and it has a bunch of keys and if you are now new to a project or haven't looked at it in a while, you're not really sure or know what type of keys are available. So naturally when Gatsby Develop is running, you would head over to Graphical and explore this shape here. You can uh, run queries and you can both in the Explorer but also with um, IntelliSense explore what type of uh, things are available. And then you uh, query those uh, keys and fields. But then again, uh, if you update your query and you want to uh, type your responses, you manually have to update the uh, types that you've written. So in this uh, project that was set up for me, uh, the template uh, has these keys for uh, the home page object. But if I would change anything here, I would mainly have to change and update the TypeScript types here so that later I have uh, TypeScript types in IntelliSense. And this is really here now where GraphQL type gen comes in. In a nutshell, when you activate it, we will analyze and take your GraphQL queries and then create TypeScript types from it. We will also create uh, schema files that then can later be used for the GraphQL extension inside, for example, VS Code. I'm showing VS Code here, but if your IDE has support for the GraphQL language server, you should also be able to use this feature, which I will show later. To get started, I'm stopping the development server here and heading to my GraphQL, uh, to my Gatsby config, and I'm adding GraphQL type gen uh, colon true here. So that's a Boolean flag that you can activate. By default, it's deactivated. So let's save that and uh, restart the server. In the background, a couple of files will be created inside the .cache folder under the typegen folder. So it's this GraphQL config.json file, which we will be able to use later for the GraphQL extension that I just showed, and then these two GraphQL files. Another file that is created by default inside the source directory is the gatsby-types. DTS file, which contains the TypeScript types that you will be able to use. With the development server now started, we can also see that there's a new activity called generating GraphQL and TypeScript types. Now that the types are created, we can remove the types that we manually wrote and access the global queries namespace. Since we named our page query homepage, we can search for homepage and then query. So it will always be the name of the query and the postfix query. And when I'm hovering over here, we can already see, hey, all the things that we manually typed are now here available. And we are still getting our um, uh, types that we expect. So that's really the first big improvement here. You don't have to manually write your TypeScript types. 
they automatically update with your queries when we change something. And for any other people that collaborate on the project and are not familiar with the shape itself, they will get IntelliSense uh, as expected. Now I want to show the uh, second part of this uh, feature here. And for that, I'm heading over to our uh, TypeGen documentation and then going to the configuring VS Code GraphQL plugin portion. I'm copying the contents here because I don't want to make any typos. And then I'm creating a graphql.config.js file uh, and pasting this here. For this to work, I have to uh, reload the window. And when the development server is running, we now should get auto completion as shown here. So as you can see, this is pretty much the same as graph graphical that we have in the browser. But now you're also getting this inside VS Code itself. So you don't have to switch around windows, you can directly get the IntelliSense here. Please note, this is only working when the uh, development server is running. Uh, if not, there will be no types available. Uh, let's imagine something changes on the Sanity backend and you restart uh, the server or updates come in. Uh, in the same vein, also the type uh, IntelliSense and types here will be updated. And that's really it. I think this feature will go a long way for teams uh, and also single developers, of course, because it makes uh, using the GraphQL data layer so much easier. If you want to learn more, I would encourage you to head over to the GraphQL type chain documentation where you can read up on all the details uh, uh, on your own and also have uh, more uh, examples. Thanks.